watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. Now that we're heading into the fall and winter seasons, change isn't always easy, and those winter blues might be settling in for you. So to get your week started on the right foot, we're going over some tips on how to combat those feelings in our lives. And joining me now is local author and life coach Karen Freeland. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So we are so excited to actually bring you a new segment each month called the Monthly Mindset with Karen. And I know November, we're kind of focusing on change. Yes. So what advice would you give to someone who's going through a change for the first time in their life? Absolutely. And we see the seasons are changing. We yep. see the weather changing. We just had a time change. And then you're probably dealing with your own changes in your life, your personal and, and personal and professional things that are happening. So the first thing is to recognize that change is essential for your growth. Hmm. If we're not changing and growing, what are we doing? We're right. staying stagnant and you cannot achieve your full potential if you're staying stagnant. So this is an opportunity to actually see change as exciting as a way to learn more skills and expand your comfort zone. Think about the first day on your job. Did you know how to do all the things? No. Probably <laughs> not, right? You had to learn that, but that then became part of your comfort zone. And so the change you're going through now is eventually going to be a piece of your comfort zone. And I feel like that one tip is also just such an easy way to flip our mindset of making something we think is bad yep. and shows that it's actually so good for us because it's going to help us get to a better place. We're going to grow. I know another tip that you have is don't romanticize the past. Oh, yes. In my book, Grab Life by the Dreams, I share what's called the change cycle, and it's the the various steps we go through from when we realize we want to make a change to when we actually have made that change. Mm. And one of the pieces of that puzzle is romanticizing the past because our brain does not like us to be in any discomfort. Right. It wants to protect us and keep us safe, even if the old safe isn't necessarily good for us. So if you catch yourself romanticizing the past, you can do two things. One, remind yourself why you committed to this change right. in the first place. And then two, find a solution as quickly as possible to move you through that change. And that might look like getting an accountability partner or someone who can help you with it. I feel like sometimes our past situation is just our comfort zone. And that doesn't mean exactly. that it was a good place to be. We just know it well. Right. So your third tip is to always yes. look for the silver lining. Tell me more. Yeah, there is always a silver lining. And so you think right now about the, the winter blues, right? People yep. are getting cooped up. Maybe they don't want to stay in their home. But what could you be doing in your home that you wouldn't do if you had a beautiful sunny day? Maybe that's some online courses or maybe you could do some volunteering. Yeah. Think about ways that you can grow personally and professionally during that season. And your final tip was to take baby steps. Yes. Set yourself up for success. I coach a lot of women who want to get healthy, start working out again, and I ask them, how many days a week do you want to work out? They go, five. I hold the phone. Right. You're working out zero days right now. Five might be a little ambitious. Let's start with two. And if yeah. you can start showing up and committing to two days a week working out, you're going to get to three, four, and eventually five. A lot easier to climb that big old mountain when all you're focused on is one foot in front of the other. I feel like that's setting us up for success because if we yes. fail, we're probably going to walk away. But if we do it in these baby steps, we'll accomplish that goal eventually. 100%. I love that. Well, so sometimes I feel like change can really make an impact on our mental health. And you've mentioned some activities, but what are some other activities that we can do to change our mindset? Yes, definitely. Well, of course, working out is going to help yeah. you have more energy and a better mood. Also, watch who you surround yourself with. Mm. Look at your circle. If you're hanging out with a bunch of negative Nancys, chances are you are going to have a similar mindset. You can, of course, be that one bright light who's going to help pull them out, but it's a lot harder when you don't have that positive support around you. What's that saying? I feel like they, they always say this. If you stand up on a chair, it's so much easier to have people drag you down mm -hmm. than for you to bring them up. So that is such yes. a good reminder of who we even just, it's such an easy thing if you think about it, who you surround yourself with, but sometimes you just don't think about it. Yeah, definitely. If anyone out there is kind of looking for some more in-depth help, what can we do? Yeah, definitely. Well, look, I'm always a big fan of investing yourself and hiring help. So get a coach. If you need to see a therapist, you know, get the support that you need. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself because you're worth it yeah. and you deserve to live a happy, healthy life. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you coming on today, Karen. Of course, if you are interested in learning more about Karen and her work, you can find our previous interview with her on her book, Grab Life by the Dreams. That will be on our website at foxcarolina.com. Otherwise, we cannot wait to focus on our mindset again next month. But for now, let's get a check of our forecast with